Hello again, and welcome to Interview with DJ Nocturna. I'm speaking with Canadian alternative pop artist. Who's with me now, joining me all the way from Toronto, Apricity. Hi there, and welcome to the show. Hi, everybody. Yeah, thank you for thank joining. Thank you so much, DJ Nocturna, for having me on today. Thank you, likewise. You know, I, um, I, I'm always so... You know, one of the things I really love about about music and artists is the, the is the musicians who who really look to look at the the importance of storytelling, and I think you're one of those, right? I mean, that's a, that's a main focus of a theme in in your music, as I can see. And I love the story of Alice in Wonderland and just that fantasy kind of thing. And and I love how you took this latest single that you have into a different a different aspect, and you you. Maybe you maybe you can tell us a little bit about that. I know it's a composition about imagining and seeking the type of relationship that, and I, I love relationships. I mean, I love, you know, <laughs> and you know, one thing with 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 um, you know, with astrology, right? Because I love astrology. I I have um, I have um, a very my seventh house, which is a house of the the house of relationships. Is um, I have um, I have my moon there which is a very big part of my, you know, my one-on-one -on -one connection with people, right? Um, and moon represents women. And you're one of those people that happens to be there sitting on the seventh house, like my one-on-one -on -one, uh, interviews that I do. So, um, yeah. Tell us a little bit. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Tell us a little bit about, you know, that's how I, that's how I connect to this, you know, with, with, with my, every time I interview somebody, they're either, they're, they're sitting on that seventh house because it's a one-on-one -on -one connection interviews things like that and with you doing this beautiful piece it's, it's about it's very imaginary and it's about relationships and companionship can you tell us a little bit about that single sure firstly i'll say just based on your astrology there which is really interesting to me i'm a taurus so oh you know what some... <laughs> okay there we go. i'll tell you right now my seventh house is in taurus there we go. <laughs> it's meant to be. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, I, I totally, yeah. So um, Alice in Wonderland. So first of all, I've been really lucky to work with um, an amazing songwriter by the name of Greg Crutchley, who is Canadian and now lives in the U.S. Yeah. Um, this was this was a song uh, he had written quite some time ago, and I had I took the song from him and made it my own. There's a few changes in it that I made musically and lyric wise that were more suiting to me, but he's the, he's the man behind the song as well. So I definitely want to make sure he's credited for that. But the reason I liked the song is because as soon as I read the lyrics, it was such a story to me. And the way I interpreted it was, it was about the story of a girl who was trapped in the depressing reality of a failing relationship, which many of us can relate to. Um, and to substitute this, she made the reality that she wanted and put herself into a different reality um, where everyone, everything is perfect and fantastic and she has everything that she wants. Um, and then, of course, later on in the story, we find out you know, the inevitable truth remains that this was just created and uh, really she's she's someone that's stuck in a depression and you see her at the end of the the video she's actually in a hospital um which you know may be a little bit far-fetched for others but it just you know when i read it that's what it related to me and i know a lot of people when they're in a relationship and it doesn't have to be with a partner it could be a family relationship it could be anything um we're always looking at what we feel we're lacking and, you know, I'm a person who I'm very imaginative. I have been since I was a small child. And I just took this, took these lyrics and I imagined, you know, being the person that's in that song and really what it felt to them and where these lyrics came from. Um, so that was the story behind the video. And the reason I actually, I had created the video um, myself. Obviously, I worked with a, a videographer and a team, but that was really my my story behind the lyrics in this song. So it's all something that we don't have. 
Yeah, let me see. I think there was a little um delay on that one. Okay, that's okay. Yeah, yeah. So uh, the the album, uh, even the the album cover, I I it's like a painting. Who's who's responsible for that? It's beautiful. So I have a creative team here. It's called Small Dog Design, and they've done many album covers for a lot of large artists and uh, movies. And they've done um, actually two of my album covers, uh, Wind of Change and um, The Fear. And they just do an amazing job. So I have a photographer, Andrea Hunter. She does the photos and then I will send them photos and they'll come up with, with uh, a cover for me. I kind of give them a story and inspiration behind what I see. Um, in the And, um, but they're, they're amazing. They're fantastic work with their artwork. Yeah. And the producer of this, of this single also, I know he's a Juno nominated Platinum Award music producer. You want to talk about him a little bit? So Tom McKay was in a few different bands. You might know him from the band Joy Drop. They were uh-huh. fairly popular back in the 90s. In fact, Tommy Lee was in yeah. one of their video, video called Beautiful. Um, he's now gone on to be, uh, you know, he's a producer in Toronto. He's a fantastic uh, human being to work with, but he, he will push you. Um, he does expect a lot, but he's definitely been um, somebody who's helped me, not only on the technical side, but just, you know, things I didn't know about recording overall. Um, it's not so simple. You don't just go in and sing and leave. There's, there's a lot more to it. Um, you know, and he, he has an expectation that he needs to meet. And he's also someone that will, will help you and has been very helpful to me through the process and just getting into my creative side and having me really think about the song the lyrics as I'm recording. Um, yeah, you know, um, I, I, I know that, you know, just going back to, to your childhood, I know that you were... Um, you you lived in Scotland. Are you Scottish? Yes. Okay. I am born there. Yes. Yes. Yeah, and and I know you you you've done TV programs when you were when you, when you were a kid. And um, were you all were you have you always liked music? And how did you start it? You know, I I have always liked music. I think it was just growing up. We were encouraged to listen to music. We didn't have um, TV in front of us. It was, you know, homework and music. My grandparents always had the radio on, whether it was country, Highland music, Celtic music, rock and roll, um, anything like that. So I think just being around that growing up is something that I started enjoying. And um, I just became very attached to listen to music. So wherever I want, you know, I went, I wanted music on in the car. Uh, when I was old enough, I got a Walkman so I could listen to music and it, it's just, it's been enjoyable for me. Um, also another thing behind the music was music videos, which oh, yeah. were such a huge part of the song. If there was a video attached, I could actually understand, you know, especially as a child, what the song meant, depending on the video and what was happening in it. Um, one of the artists that my family used to listen to a lot was Kate Bush. And you Kate know, Bush? a lot of her, yes, oh, I love a lot of her Bush. videos, yeah, they're very, you know, fairy tale like, yes, and a little dark, but you know, a great storyteller, fantastic oh. vocalist, you know, mm-hmm. have to agree that, so, <laughs> yeah, ab- absolutely. So, that was she was somebody that I loved listening to her, and then on the flip side, Blondie. Uh, mm-hmm. Debbie Harry, who was just, you know, rock and roll, got on the stage and just it was like a punch right in the heart when she sang. Um, so I loved listening to that. It went from a very, you know, the Kate Bush is more of the the uh, haunting vocal, whereas Blondie was more of the rock, right. roll, yeah, harder a, rock sound. I mean, that, that's a that's a beautiful, you know, that, it's just a beautiful, I, just, just thinking the two artists that I, 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 Kate Bush is one of my top favorites. I've been playing her her playlist has been on my shows for, for for a number of years. You know, I play her all the time. I love her, especially um her Wuthering Heights and um you know oh, it's storytelling. Yeah. It's a very it's a storytelling and it, it, it kind of 
it's dreamy like it's dreamy like in, in many ways as well you know dark yeah you say but uh so beautiful and her voice yeah definitely yeah very captivating very captivating almost operatic right oh yeah 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 totally yeah and so so this single is called alice in wonderland uh, it's released on on cap records and uh, it's already released uh, since june and prior to this you you had other singles um all my lives in 2021 then the fear in 2022 so is this this good is this going to be a part of an of an upcoming album or ep yes i am actually working on my ep now hoping to finish it this year mm -hmm. so i'm pretty excited about that yeah okay well maybe maybe we'll bring you back again when 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 that has been process you know when it's on the it's on the verge of being released and all that kind of stuff yeah absolutely so the the other two albums are, are they also kind of do they also have a they have a video as well i know alice in wonderland has a video right yeah they you know what um and that's why it's taken me a little longer to bring out songs so i've only been doing this for two years now i started just uh when COVID started is when I started actually recording. Um, but every song that I've released right now has a music video. That's something that an artist is important to me because growing up, that was something that that I really related to was the actual visuals and then the musical connection. So for me, um, bringing out a song is, is amazing, but I feel that there needs to be a visual story to go along with it. Um, so I'm actually working on a new video right now and, and another song, oh. um, which I'm looking at bringing out probably in the fall. But um, yes, my I mean, I have a YouTube channel with the videos on it. Um, I've spent, you know, a lot of time and in, in, uh, working with the videographer and uh, putting together what I feel is a story that people can watch and actually understand. Yeah, you know, just with the visual itself. Yeah, that's that's really important. I know the visual and just the storytelling is is is, is amazing. I mean, that's really important in music, right? You know, I think what, so. Yes. And one 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 of the interesting thing about your name, maybe you want to talk a little bit little bit about it, because I know it means warmth of the sun in winter, or in, in your yeah, and it's, it's it's yeah. Can you talk a little bit about why why that why did you choose that name? Well, I definitely feel that, uh, you know, being in Canada in the winter, um, we long for the warmth of the sun and I long for the warmth of the sun. It makes us feel good. Um, and when I was looking for an artist name that would reflect how I felt um, at the time, that was a name that, that a meaning actually that, that came up. Um, and it was, it was obviously it was in there like from Mar February or March um, when I started this and it was just a cold winter's day and I thought what do I really want here right now I want warmth of the sun um, and it just made sense to me so I would like to bring the warmth of the sun to everyone in all my songs oh that's so sweet yeah you know when I think of that word and then the meaning of it right it's almost like you know how some people, I mean, winter is, I mean, I love winter. I like the cold, the breeze, the cold, the coldness. But at the same time, when you get warmed, it's, it's like a double, like, how do you say it? It's like a double good feeling, I guess you can say. The, the feeling of the cold and then the warmthness going over that. It's almost like, 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 uh, like hot cocoa, you know? Under It is. <laughs> it's like On a cold winter day. <laughs> yeah, the war warmth in your stomach, though, but. Um, it just reflected it, and it, you know, when I when I looked into it, I thought, yeah, this is this is how I feel, and this is suiting to me. And it's the same as music or lyrics. Um, you know, writing anything or you know, working with any songwriters, it needs to mean something. It's not just a song to sing. I need to be able to relate to it. I need to be able to feel the song. And I think if you look at bands and other artists that are around and have been around for a long time, um, that's something that they've they've put for yeah no that's that's very true yeah and of course big shout out to shameless promotion pr um, you know it's funny I you're doing well exactly and and this is what it's about i feel even especially during covid um 
what could people really do? Yeah. I mean, music became such a huge part of everything. Um, online music, Spotify, you know, things like that, because people weren't going out. Um, and I just feel that music can really change a person's day. Yeah. Oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah. I mean, I, I'm, I'm always influenced by the song I'm playing uh, at that moment, you know. I mean, it really can change your your, your feelings. That's for sure. I, I think it's the it can. I think it's the vibration of the song too, <laughs> you know, because that that you know that kind of sinks in, yeah. For sure. Uh, I mean, don't you have a you have probably have a song that you you hear that makes you feel, you know, in a, oh yeah, about something, and then a song that you know makes you want to go out and and have a party, and a song that makes you want to go to sleep, <laughs> you know. <laughs> yeah, totally. To down. <laughs> well, you know. Um, if, if anybody wanted to check out your music, what's a, what is a good way to find out more about you? I'm on all, all social media platforms, um, including Spotify, Deezer, um, Apple Music, Facebook, Twitter, um, mm -hmm. Instagram. So, Apricity Official Music, you can find me on there and give me a little and what else I'm going to be bringing out soon. And and I know you have a, you have a tree right for that for a pretty official music right i do yes and also a link tree and that has a lot of other links that um oh, okay. i have on there just some interviews i've done and then you know obviously my music videos are on there as well oh, okay all right well you know I, i'm you know congratulations on the single and, and it's, a, it's a great video and great music and i'm, I'm sure you we can't wait for your ep when it comes out um again this uh the, the latest the latest single is called Alice in Wonderland, produced by uh, Thomas McKay, who's a Juno, Juno nominated um, platinum awarded music producer. And she's got a, you got also got a great mixing engineer there, and as well as your, um, your songwriter as well. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you so much for joining me on the show. And, um, you know, and I, I'm looking forward to the, to, to the next, you know, to the single when it comes out as an EP. Thank you so much, DJ Nocturna, for having me today. Yeah, thank you. Okay.